Welcome to the Henderson Church of God of Prophecy, where you have a right to be free and you don't have to take what the devil has offered. God is for you and not against you. We're just here. It's been about two weeks since we filmed because the Spirit of God has been moving. Amen. And we just let the Lord have his way. We had a lot of prayer. We've been praying for you. Amen. And we just thank God that you're also praying for us. We lift up our co-workers that's going through certain things. We just ask you to bless them. I have a close friend of mine that's dealing with legal issues, and we ask that you keep him in prayer also. Yes, yes. Amen. These are praying times. We thank God for um, uh, Antonio Lawrence. I usually don't say names, but his name is out there because he's believing God for a kidney transplant. We yes. believe God he's going to do that. Thank God for the Jesus Faith Deliverance Church and all of our supporters. We thank God for you. Amen. But we know that your time is valuable. We value your time. So we're going to go right to the Word of God for the people of God. Hallelujah. Our foundation scripture is coming out of the, the uh, division of Psalms, 23rd Psalms. Amen. It's a very, very familiar scripture. And we're going to read it and go to the Word of God. It says, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley and shadow of the death, I shall fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepareth the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Hallelujah. i like us to focus our attention. Amen. On verse uh, 3 it says, He restoreth my soul and leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. If I use for a thought today will be restoration. Restoration. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word, O oh God, and we ask you to touch these lips of clay. Hallelujah. And give me the anointing that makes preaching easy, God. As I come before your people, I decrease as you'll increase. Less of me and more of you. None of me got all of you. Let the words of my mouth and meditation of the heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. As we look through the word of God, we see in verse 3, it says, He restoreth my soul. I mean, God is in the, in, in the business of restoring souls. Yeah. Hallelujah. As you think about your soul, it's your seat of the emotions. The place in, in your soul where you memorize stuff. Yeah. The place in your soul where you can learn and do different things. But God restores our soul. He's a soul. He can restore. Hallelujah. Yeah. We think about the word of, rest, of, of restoration of, or to restore. Amen. Hallelujah. The restore means the act of returning something to a former owner, place, or condition. Yeah. That's what restoration is. To restore something to its, its former place or condition. And God can restore you back to the place, amen, where you once were. Amen. If you believe something and the devil stole it, God can restore. God can restore everything that was lost, stolen, or broken. My God can restore. Amen. So we thank God for that. And we're believing that he's able to do it. Amen. Hallelujah. So he can restore. Thank God for restoration. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. In the book of Thessalonians 5.23 says, and the very God of peace sanctify you holy. And I pray that the God of your whole spirit, soul and body, prefer, pre preserve blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. So your whole spirit, soul, and body. Amen. God is able to restore your whole spirit, soul, and body. We thank God for restoration. Yeah. And we believe in God for restoration. Hallelujah. We want to get to the place where we can see. Because a lot of us have, have lost different things because of issues. A lot of us have lost different things in our soul. Hallelujah. Our soul has went through trauma, especially during this time of COVID. People are locked in the house, going through different things. And, and so your soul needs to be restored. There's not, that there's, they have not met not one person who has had somebody that they know who died from COVID. Yeah. And you're grieving. And the whole nation, the whole a pandemic means it's around the world. And there's people all over the world who are grieving. But the word of God says that he will restore yeah. your grieving soul. Hallelujah. Amen. Just give, give, give it some time. And God knows how to do it. And so as we look at the word of God, we see here that people are going through many different things. But he says, that, blessed are those that mourn, for they shall be comforted. We speak comfort into your life right now. We speak that he's touching your heart. He's restoring. He's moving. Blessed. 
Hallelujah to they that mourn, for they shall, you shall, we shall be comforted in the things of God. Uh, third, the third book of John, the second chapter, uh, it says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou may prosper and be in health, even as your soul prosper. That's John 3, 2. Amen. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou may prosper and be in health, even as your soul prosper. God wants you to prosper, amen. God wants to bring restoration to your heart. There's different things you've been going through, but God can restore. Psalm 34, 18, 20 says, The Lord is nigh to them that are of a broken heart, and right. save such that are a contract spirit. God is close to your broken heart. Right. There's many, there's many different things that has, has broken our hearts in life. But verse 19 says, Many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord shall deliver us out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, and none of them are broken. Yes. Hallelujah. There's different things that can cause a broken heart. Right. Amen. Amen. Disappointment Amen. can cause a broken heart. Yes. Disillusions, failures, rejections, abandonment, abuse, betrayal, trauma. Yes. The devil tells you you're not good enough. The, the devil tells you you're not tall enough. Tells you not you, you, you there's something wrong with you. He'll always tell you that something is not enough. But yes. the devil's trying to cause trauma into your life, trying to cause you to have this broken heart. Amen. But it didn't take long for you to experience a broken heart in his life. Amen. It might be someone that you may have fallen in love with, but they didn't return the love. And it broke your heart. Yes. It leaves people in the form of addictions. It leaves them in a place that they can't function right. Amen. I was studying about the broken heart. And sometimes when you, when you have that broken heart, sometimes people can't sleep or they sleep too much and can't get up. But they can't function. They can't do what they normally do every day because they're struggling with this rejection, yes. struggling with this broken heart. There may have been a close friend, amen, that betrayed our, your friendship. Something has happened, but God is able to heal that. We believe in deliverance. We're speaking deliverance into your heart and mind now. Whatever you've gone through that has wounded you, have wounded your soul because people talked about you. People laughed at you, picked at you. Somebody bullied you, even in school, and you carried it all these years. But God is able to restore your heart. Amen. He's a heart restorer. Yes. Thank you, Lord. James, uh, the third chapter, verse 2 says, For in many things we offend all. If any man offend not in word, the same is a perfect man able to write on his whole body. People get offended. We need to be careful what we say to people and be careful how we hear. How we hear what people say. Amen. Because you can take things wrong and walk around offended. You thought they meant one thing and they said something else. Or they didn't speak to you. Maybe they were busy. Whatever. Don't 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 wear your feelings on your sleeves. Okay. But if you do get offended, God is able to heal. But it says here that if a man doesn't offend in word, he's a perfect man. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to talk about the soul for a minute. Talk about soul ties because God is delivering from soul ties. Amen. There's different people that, that even even the um, the medical scientists are saying now that the Bible was said a long time ago. That any person that you had sex with, you're connected somehow. So when you meet somebody and every person that they had sex with, they person, now all these different soul ties are meaning up and you get confused and you have uh, 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 sleepless nights and you have uncontrolled weep weeping and all these different things, panic attacks, all these different things are happening because they're a soul tie. When we read 1 Corinthians 6, 15 through 16, it says, Know ye not that your bodies are members of Christ. So we didn't take the members of Christ and make them members of a harlot? God forbid. What? Know ye not that he which is joined to a harlot is one body? For two says he shall become one. Whatever, whoever you have slept with, there's a connection, there's a joining. But it takes the anointing of God to destroy the yoke. Yeah. And we speak to those conditions. We speak to those soul ties by the anointing and the power of the Holy Ghost. Be free now. In Jesus' name. Yes. Because he restores our soul. Hallelujah. Be free. Hallelujah. To serve God and walk in the power and the peace and the anointing of God. But how do you get caught up in this? By yielding yourselves members. Uh, by, by connecting and doing different things that way. But once you get free from that, understand that it's not just a pleasure, but that soul tie. Some people, you've gotten bad relationships. And you've been put down and you've been abused and people talked about you and they physically abused you and verbally abused you and now you're having a hard time functioning but God is able to set you free and will set you free hallelujah. yes he will yes. hallelujah thank you Lord. we just believe in God 
that he's doing a great and mighty thing. Hallelujah. How will God set you free? He will share his anointing and power with you as you accept Christ your Lord and Savior and even rededicating your life to the Lord and, 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 and purpose to, to serve God in your heart. He does a great and wonderful thing. Yeah. Now, break, I'm almost finished, but I want to go to 2 Peter. The first chapter, verses 3 and 8 says, start at verse 3. His div divine power has he given unto us all. Amen. He's given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness yeah. through the knowledge of him that has called us into glory. Amen. His divine power has he given unto us all. Yeah, right. Hallelujah. Receive the divine power of God. Amen. Verse 4 says, thereby are given unto us exceeding. That means you can't measure it. You can't weigh it. Hallelujah. It's exceeding great and precious promises that by these you might be partakers of of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Oh, this yeah. is wonderful here because God is sharing his divine nature with you and you receive Christ and his spirit comes in. He begins to heal those places in your heart and you can receive the divine nature of God and therefore you will escape the corruption that's in the world through lust. Amen. And we see here that it's going to take you to Yield yourself to the things of God and ask Christ to come into your life. Hallelujah. Believe God for soul restoration. Believe God that everything the enemy stole from you, he, he's going to restore it. If a thief be caught, he's got to restore seven times as much. Amen. We believe in God for seven times more. Amen. We pray over your thought life, your mind, your emotions, and you don't break out in tears. Hallelujah. But you stand strong. Hallelujah. And yeah. complete. Everything that God has for you. We, right. We've got you maximize your potential and do all things that God has called you to do. We thank God that, the, that he'll bless you with a fresh anointing. Mm -hmm. And all that abuse yeah. won't hinder you anymore. And when the Bible says take on the shield of faith and quench every fiery dart. Those are fiery darts that come and attack your soul. There are fiery darts that have caused you to be weary. Those fiery darts that are hindering you. Making you walk around in depression and sadness. And you can't medicate that type of pain. You need to be delivered. Right. And some people have mental illness and it's a real thing. But also, as you align, you get your proper alignment. Spirit, soul, and body have been touched and blessed by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And you will be healed. Yeah. We speak healing unto you. That you can walk and maximize your potential. Because why? You don't have to take what the devil has to offer. God is for you, not against you. You have a right to be free. That's the gospel truth. Be restored.